All right, welcome back to Chasing Neat. And of course, you guys all know our lovely, good friends, Denise and Brian Maurer from The Bourbon Crew. Hello. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and of course, my lovely husband. That's me. Michael. I'm Dawn. Most days, anyway. Oh, okay, yep. Most days, you're my husband. Yep, yep. today, you're my husband. So she gets better off that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard to train him, isn't it, Denise? Yes. So, anyway, but today is Whiskey Wednesday. Specifically, we're doing Tennessee whiskey. So, tonight we have Noble Tennessee whiskey. Want to talk a little bit about it? Uh, so, oh. no, go ahead. Oh, okay. I, I, I yeah. you're about to no, say go something. Ahead. <laughs> nope. So, a while back over the summer, when it was warm and not snowing, mm, yeah. um, a package arrived, and I opened it, and a box came out, mm -hmm. and it said Noble Tennessee whiskey. Hard work, play fair, and be noble. No, no, no. Work hard, oh. play fair, what be noble. Hard, hard work. work. <laughs> hard work. It He's basically means the same thing, yes. just so you know. But the catchphrase is work hard, play fair, be noble. Yes. <laughs> just to be technical. And I opened it up and yeah. out, not necessarily fell, but out popped. Um, or contained within was this mm -hmm. bottle of... Um, noble, or as I like to say, Knoble. That's what you did say, Because <laughs> there's a K in it. Um, and so what this is, it's a Tennessee whiskey. It's about a five-year um, whiskey that goes through the Lincoln County process. So after they um, distill it, they run it through uh, maple charcoal, and that gives it kind of a, a mellowing effect to it. So it actually technically isn't a bourbon because of that process, but in all fairness and, and you know, up to the letter of law, it's, it's a bourbon. Now this particular bourbon, I mean whiskey, Tennessee whiskey to be exact, is um, put out, uh, sold by Mike Rowe, which is the Dirty Jobs guy. Um, from the Discovery mm -hmm. Channel, and also uh, the danger, uh, dangerous catch, dangerous catch. No, the deadliest catch. Deadliest, deadliest. catch. Yeah, he yeah. does the voice. Yeah. The voice. For that, yeah, mm -hmm. he does a lot of other things too. But we all among know them other TV things. shows. But mm -hmm. those are the two that that he's probably most known for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and he has a foundation that he has had for a while, and it is. The foundation micro is, foundation, yeah, I believe. It's micro, just, <laughs> micro micro works My, foundation, yeah. or Mike Row works foundation, or micro works. <laughs> Either way, it'll uh, be a link in the properly. In those the three words. I don't know if they're hyphenated, if they're all together. But when you go to the website, it's all together, so you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and basically, what they what they do is they offer scholarships to high school um, graduates, mm -hmm. specifically who are going into the trade program. So they're not going to college, they're not getting college tuition, they're not getting financial aid from MicroWorks for that. They're getting uh, financial aid to go and help pay for their um, their trades, their carpentry, their plumbing, their electricity, their welding, y you name it. If, yeah. if it's a tr considered a trade um, and you get that, that scholarship, that money, and they've had a lot of success with it. Um, so 100% uh, of the proceeds from their online sales go to that foundation. Um, I believe they do sell this in some of the some of the liquor stores. Um, I, I I do know that there's a, a percentage that goes again to the foundation. Um, all the middlemen take their cuts, so that's why they mm -hmm. they don't necessarily say. Um, just because of, they don't know what the distribution is in those states, and it's just more of a mess. But if you buy it online, which is how we bought it, you can um, um, rest assured that that money goes to, to a good cause. Now, they they quickly ran out of this first release. There is a second release um, that is finished. So it's, it's um, this whiskey, and then finished in toasted French oak barrels. Mm. And I forget Ooh. what that one's called. Oh, we'll have to buy it online. Um, <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. And Sounds you good. can get that in 
I don't know if it comes in the the big bonus because that one came with. That's a spe it's a special commemorative, yeah. you know. But it, I think it comes right. in just a you know a, a, a small box. Yeah. But you can get that one too, and yeah. Um, so the the name Knobel or Noble, Noble. <laughs> is his grandfather's last name, and his grandfather. Uh, Never went past the seventh grade. He graduated seventh grade and then went and and worked and ended up becoming an electrician and ended up owning his own electric Biz. electric business. Yeah. Um, I was going to say electric company, but that's a different <laughs> a whole different entity. Your head went yes. to the electric company, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> Do you so guys remember that electric yeah. company? <laughs> so he named it after after his grandfather, who Carl was a, Noble. Carl Noble, mm -hmm. who was a uh, very big inspiration to him moving forward in, in his life. Mm -hmm. And one, again, another one of the reasons why he wanted to name this was because there's no namesake to the Nobles because he had two daughters, <laughs> one of which was his mother. Um, so this way now, his uh, legacy can live on. Very cool. Yeah. Mike Rose... Mother, who is an accomplished author, a best-selling best author. author. So anyway, a Times or New York Times, Times. best-selling yeah. author. Yeah, and her latest book is something about vacuuming nude. Yeah, something like that. What? Yeah, it is hilarious. I mean, we, you've been listening to it, right? Yeah, yeah, little bits of it. So I just, I listen. So to on his podcast. Um, which, if you haven't, if you what haven't, you uh, so of, course course he he has. Has. of course he has. Of course he has. Yeah, well, obviously we are big micro fans. Yeah. You know, Mike had to find the the background and backstory to the noble. Oh, I'm sorry, noble, noble Tennessee whiskey. Um, but I mean, he's doing great things for the, com the for the community. Yeah. So I think that's very cool. Guy. He's a good guy. And everybody loves Deadly as guys. They love, you know. I just love his voice. Yeah, he's I got know, a great right? Voice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's awesome. So anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. he started out as an opera singer. Oh uh, yeah, so that's why that's, he sings that's the that. Christmas songs. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. That. so yeah. we listen to his podcast. I mean, uh, quite a bit actually. So um, in between, when he does all the commercials, when he gets sponsored by people, mm -hmm. he I don't know if it's he and who else, but they are singing a cappella for these commercials. I and believe it. It's it's really it's really neat. So so but. he needed to work in Hollywood. He needed his union card. To get his union card, you have to uh, perform. To perform, you need your union card. <laughs> to perform, you need your union card. And to get your union card, you need to perform. See that catch-22? <laughs> so he found out that if he was on the singing side, he didn't have to perform first and get his union card or get his union card and then perform. He could just jump in, perform, and then eventually get his union card, which then would get lead to movies. And that's why he got into opera, because that was the easiest way for him to get into singing. Because <laughs> nobody wants to sing opera. I'm, I mean, not me. Anyway. Wow. So now you let's might have to move cut that That's deep. <laughs> so, you know, and just for the record, I mean, um, Chasing Knee isn't just about <laughs> drinking whiskey. It's about useless knowledge that Mike can, <laughs> Mike can just <laughs> rattle off the top of his head at a drop of a hat. <laughs> so... He may sing opera for us. Someday. He may sing opera. He, I, no. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, back to let's trying this Tennessee whiskey on Whiskey Wednesday. I said we should. I we say, should try we it. We should open it. We should open it. All right, all right. Let's see if I can open it. Without, I mean, I can probably open it without, yeah. you know, pouring. I mean, dripping. And thanks to pouring. the suggestion from our good friend Jeff, we took the plastic mm -hmm. off first. Yeah, but we did. Get this part off. Wait. Oh, right. that. Did you get what? Okay, now, now you can pour. We're in the splash zone. Yeah. Oops, no. I was going to pour in the wrong glass. Yeah, he's going to pour in the... That yeah, smells pretty good. It's blending. Mm-hmm. Blending. Hey, smell it, Brian. Smell it. It's like Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, like we don't drink... I was going to say, we don't drink a whole lot of Tennessee whiskey in general, so... This is... Usually we're trying so many different things against each other. We really wanted to just try this yeah. all by itself. Mm-hmm. And what did you say the proof is on that? This is 90 proof. Can you see it? 90 proof. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Mm. Yeah, you have that. <laughs> yeah, very cool. All right. All right. I guess now we just nose it. it okay. Mm. It's light. Yeah, like a 
bubblegum nose. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to yeah. say, a bubblegum nose. Yeah. Yes. Bazooka. Yeah. Got a little bit of... I also get like a, a baking um, bready, I guess, bread. Yeah, a bit yeasty. Yeasty. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yep. It's sweet and um, a little bit of ethanol vapors. Yeah, that's so a get, little bit. Right. You know? I get mm -hmm. sweet and then ethanol. And yeah. then sweet and yeah. something else. And then ethanol and sweet. Like, a little bit of oak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little, a little bit, bit of oak. oak. Yeah. It's, not, it's a good nose, though. I, I mean, don't know. I need, I need more to try. <laughs> no, no, I just want to look compare, compare oh. yours. Oh, I guess it's kind of, it looks like yours has a lot more than me. You want some? No. I got more the whole, I got the whole bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I over, I, so I said I got Dawn Pour on mine. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I normally, okay. don't, normally don't do that. Cheers. Bottom Cheers. Up. Cheers. Mmm. A little then, sweet. The candy hits you first, at least hits me first. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just stays with you. It's I like I like um I like this up immediately. Because it's got a little it's bit even. it's got a little bit of a heat for a ninety proof. Yeah. That I feel I would agree. Yeah, and I feel sweet but not super sweet. No. So it's, it's like that's what I said sweet but it's not like a dark sweet. cherry like Yeah. Yeah. Now that Consume yeah. some. Hmm. Tasting good. Yeah. <clears throat> Number two sip. You always get that flavor out of Tennessee, wh Tennessee whiskey or Tennessee anything really, and I guess it is like a a chair. I don't know. I get I get I want to say orange. Yeah. I want, I want a mm. caramel orange citrus mm. thing. I get more cherry, like Brian said. Yeah, I get a little bit of citrus as well, but yeah. the cherry is what I'm. That, that's that flavor I always get, and I always yeah. wonder what it is, but because it's not your typical cherry. Yeah. yeah well, you also just said that it was chill filtered with, um, no, not chill filtered. Um, just poured over maple Ch char charcoal. Charcoal. That would be the Lincoln County okay. process. I can. I feel like I can taste that maple. Is that done by I most Tennessee whiskey? And that's what I was going to ask. No, you're fine. If it's a Tennessee whiskey, then yes. Is it because maple, the water is bad? <laughs> charcoal or just charcoal in general? It's just that's how they... It's weird. It's maple. It's charcoal made from maple. Ma okay. that's Yeah, I didn't know if it was like a different type of wood, so... Hmm. Well, the, the wood is different. It's maple as opposed to oak. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I and I don't like... know why. I, I don't know why they use maple specifically. Teacher, she has a question. Oh. <laughs> a comment. No. I was just going to say that the aftertaste is like a citrus taste yeah yeah once it sits on the your palate for a little bit the nose is changing as it gets more air yeah you know what i like is that i don't taste any oak do you guys yeah. taste any oak no don't you think the uh nose is different i don't when i, I was kind of surprised by the taste i didn't get i don't know i was just expecting it to be sweeter you think it's pretty sweet though no, I don't think okay. it's real sweet. I feel like it mm. wants to be sweet, and then it's not. Right. But that's perfect for my palate. It'd be interesting what it would have tasted like at 100 proof, um, at a higher proof. I think at, at 90, it's... I think definitely at 80, it just would have been washed away. Um, but I think at 90, yeah. you know, you're at the... You know, at that point where it's just a nice Sunday... Good sipper. Lazy mm -hmm. afternoon, sipping outside... Um, it's light. It's it's not overbearing. Mm -hmm. Well, Don and I usually want more with a ninety, um, but I really feel like this actually has some heat to it. That mm -hmm. I'm okay with yeah. it. Yeah, I wouldn't mix it with anything mm -mm. at right. all. Um, and I feel like I would definitely go in for seconds. Right? I mean, right after, right oh, yeah. away, mm -hmm. because it's just. I was hoping that I would really like this, and I really do like this. Because, again, I, you want to like Denise, the cause. And... Want, yeah, first and foremost, you want to like the cause. Because we get so wrapped up sometimes in either the bottle or the backstory, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and let's be honest, if I didn't like the whiskey, I'd probably buy it again anyways just to support the cause. Mm -hmm. But Denise and I like high proof. Right. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. And for, so, for us to say that, I mean, yeah, it, it's good. Yeah. Mm. So, Mike, we're looking for that 110, 120 proof next next release. Yeah. 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 
But, okay, so what do we know about Tennessee whiskey, or do we need to investigate a little further? Well, obviously, with the rules of, you know, bourbon whiskey being, you know, distilled at a, in a certain proof, and entered into the barrel as a certain proof, I mean, it filled into the bottle as a certain I proof. I think they pretty much follow everything that a bourbon is, mm. except for that last process. Yeah. Well, I should say last process, but... That link Because they, they distill it, and bef- I believe before they barrel it, it goes through the charcoal. And it goes, it, it takes several, I think, days, because it's a giant yeah. charcoal okay. Okay. S- square brick, and then they pour it, and mm. it s- sinks through, and then comes out. So it's a, it's a lengthy process for that. Um, but uh, other than that, and then it goes in the barrel. But So I think everything yeah. else is, is the same. That's why, you know, the controversy is t- Tennessee whiskey is bourbon, but, you know, by the law, it's not yeah. because of that yeah. one step. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. you know, I I do not mind this Lincoln County process. Yeah. I'm fine with this. So do we, did you happen to research the mash bill on that? I could not find the mash bill. Okay. Um, I do know that. How he got connected with this is, um, I think it, it was his, his uh, one of his company managers, which I think is actually the, the company lawyer, knew a either distillery or a barrel broker, someone who had a bunch of barrels, um, either they made or they bought or whatever, um, and he, they were either uh, going out of business or just selling, so he bought... Um, that supply of barrels mm. from them did this and then because it sold out so fast he went back to that source and said hey do you have any more and they said well no but we've got additional set of other barrels which is that one that was finished in um toasted french oak barrels which is that second release mm. um which comes out when i think it's out now oh okay yeah mm. We better, be good. we better get online, Brian. Should yeah. it should be good. We better, mm-hmm. I, I'm as I'm drinking this more. There's a lot more black pepper on the back. Yeah, mm. back end of it. I think I need more. It's really kind of impressive Denise? how warm it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll take a little bit. Yeah. How warm because it is at a 90 good. proof. Mm-hmm. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I didn't get that when you were talking. Then I'm like, at, but yeah. I, as I took my last sip, I'm like, that's yeah, pretty warm. Pour. Yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed to pour because I do suck at that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, it's not good. Like, look how dainty that was. No mess. I mean, it's all over the place when I do it. <laughs> okay, so we all have our rule, right? Mike knows the, t- the the trivia and the data, and I just go online and buy the stuff. Denise is the nose. Brian is he's the eye candy. Yeah. He is the eye candy. <laughs> that is the more. My Thank third, you. fourth, it's sweet. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's, that one was sweet. So I've had it change several couple times on me now. Yeah. Because that one, I didn't have the Cheers, pepper at the end. Mm-hmm. But, man, it was really, like... Almost got a sweeter, like almost vanilla. Yes, I would say vanilla too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the cherry, the cherry lightened up, and the yeah. vanilla came out. I'm like, what? Yeah, I think the only way Maybe to I'll drink this. Just yeah. a, just I think a, this the only way to drink this is neat. It's really changing a lot. Yeah, and don't you agree though? I mean, that's you want. Yeah. More, you want more, Mike? Yeah. Would Please. you guys? Would you guys also think yeah, you too for an, a beginner? I don't know how much you want? Bourbon whiskey drinker. <laughs> for a beginner drinker, would well, you guys? What I want is whatever I get. <laughs> Question. <laughs> As a beginner bourbon whiskey drinker, this would be, a, I think, a good one to start oh, with. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like there's not those weird anything. It's got not it. so I mean, hot. It's gonna knock your socks off, but yeah, it's got a it's lot got of a, flavor in it. Yeah. yeah, this would definitely be a a, a good introductory to bourbon because it's not overpowering yeah. it's, um, the heat doesn't hit you um, mm-hmm. and then it's got a, a very good um, taste to it yeah yeah so these are cranberries that's funny. yeah that's what I wanted to do I wanted, yeah. I wanted to do it cranberries that's what we wanted to do the cranberries the chocolate and the pecans, pecans. yeah Michael Beach that's Bur- how we Whiskey Taste. historian. I don't know what it does, but not that I like. Say, so, hey, I beat the <laughs> to the nose. I got the bubble gum first. Yeah, you did. I was getting ready he to goes, say it. You he took goes, it. He goes bubble gum, and we were like, yeah. I tend to. Think you never much. get bubble gum. When I get it, you're like, you always get bubble gum. <laughs> I did that time. It was bu- yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. it's good. It's pretty good. 
So after after the what are these things? Cranberries. Cranberries. After cranberries, it seemed to that vanilla really come out. Really came out. Mm -hmm. I still get the heavy cherry though. Oh, you need chocolate mm, next time. Wonder what that is about Tennessee whiskey though. Wonder if, that, wonder if that's something to do with the charcoal process that you get that heavy cherry like taste. Could be yeah. cherry char. We used to call it a funk because we couldn't really place it in yeah. the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I get what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. So it seems That's like okay. all the Tennessee has that. Yeah. Except yeah. what Jack we used Daniels. to call a funk. <laughs> I don't get it from Jack Daniels. Yeah, which is weird. Do we don't? Hmm. Well, we'll have to Jack definitely Daniels. get back to, I mean, trying just. Or bananas. See? I said bananas. peanuts and he thought, you get peanuts from it? I do not get peanuts from, from Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. Daniels. From Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we definitely want to try Jack Daniels, this, um, Green Nelson's Green not right. Greenbrier. Not, uh, Nelson's yeah, Greenbrier. Yeah. Cause I always think of Greenbrier also the place in West Virginia is called Greenbrier. There's a big hotel. Oh the hotel, yeah. The, hotel, the one yeah. with the hidden um bunker. Bunker for the for the the Congress. Yeah, that that, mm -hmm. that they built That's what I need. A hidden under bunker. under hidden bunker with whiskey. Hidden, yeah. <laughs> and then they realized they That's could never get there in time, so they scratched it after they built it. Yeah. Anyway, you would have thought somebody would have done that time study first. Can we get there in time before the missiles land? Maybe. Yeah, just go ahead and build it. And just think, you just started drinking. He would—he doesn't need to drink for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta tell you, he is like our. We call that the ringer. He's he, a ringer for Team Pango Pango and trivia. Mike's right. He's Google. <laughs> He's Google. Walking Google. Mm. Or he'd be great at Balderdash. Remember that game where they'd say you had to make up your own definition for a word? Oh, I love that. I game. hated that game. I hated oh that game. Oh my gosh. Game. He would make stuff up and he'd be like, blah, 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 and you had to decide whether or not it was true or not. And I was like, <laughs> yes, kind of, we will have to do that after one of our. No, I'm games. not doing it. You'll make us look stupid. <laughs> we need to close it out. So, anyway. So, so, my vote is yes. This is a good whiskey. It is good. Good job. Yes. I'd definitely say good job, Mike definitely a buy. Got to have a backup to a backup. Yes. To borrow some Hashtag. to borrow from Brian. I can't believe you bought it without a backup. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, I can't believe you opened it without a backup. Just... Well, no, that's what we'll do <laughs> that. We just will go this far and stop this until is what we get we do another for one. For our fans, for our our patrons. We have fans. Is that our dad and our mom? Yes. You know? <laughs> so I guess last question before we close out: Is he planning to put this on the shelves then? I, mean, I think I think it is because he went um, at least on I feel like the I feel East like Coast. Maryland he was going something. to liquor stores. Uh, unannounced yeah, okay. and signing bottles. Yeah. Oh, okay. nice! So, Very cool. Yeah, but I think it's just—I think it was in, at liquor stores just on the East Coast, just yeah. because of there's all, there there wasn't a big distribution. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, yeah. What a—I mean, what a good cause. I oh, mean, yeah. Yeah. no matter job. what, the, I mean, this is going towards a, a great you know thing. Yeah. So Absolutely. yeah. So, so check out Mike Rowe mm -hmm. Works. Dot Foundation. Okay. Anyway. We'll figure yeah. it out. You can probably find yeah. it on Google it. Micro Foundation. We'll put it in. You might have to go through Google Micro and it'll come we up with probably, Opera. We could probably <laughs> open up the box and see. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, um, and so anyway. to that note, on the, the last note is don't forget to work hard, play fair, and be noble. 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 Cheers. Oh. There you go. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, and cut. Do I have to remind you all the time? I forget sometimes. I'll give you one job. Oh my god.